Let's go to our segment where we get you some corporates. Let's welcome in the management at Vartek, Wabak. They have had a very, very important deal regarding the fundraising, which we'll talk about. Plus, they have declared their numbers. Mr. Rajneesh Chopra, Global Head Business Development at Vartek, Wabak, is now with us. Uh, so while the Q1 operations were, of course, impacted by the lockdown, now as things are moving to normalcy, how do you see business for you? What can we expect in Q2? Are there further delays in the orders or things are looking back to normal? As far as our first quarter is concerned, if you would have seen the numbers, we are almost at where we were in the last quarter in spite of a very, very severe lockdown. And some of the key reasons why you see that uh, we are almost where we were last year in spite of the lockdown is that based on our business model, I think our ONM was operating at 100% of the capacity because these are essential services and our guys did an excellent job in, you know, in spite of all odds, they uh, operated all the utilities at 100%, and in some cases, even more than 100%. Secondly, if you look at our business model, it is EPC. Now, engineering and procurement, I would not say that we were at 100%, but engineering and procurement, even while people were working from home, this continued, and we were almost at 70, 80% of our normal productivity levels. The only impact in India we had was on the construction, where almost we lost more than two months because of the severe lockdown. But as far as overseas markets are concerned, be it Europe or Middle East, I think the impact was only for a few days and then the construction was resumed. Maybe the model of construction changed, you know, there were social distancing norms. We were operating even in the construction on more uh, shifts than what we were doing earlier. But that also helped us to you know, regain uh, whatever we lost in first eight, 10 days of the lockdown overseas. Now, when you talk about going forward, I can tell you that uh, as far as overseas are concerned, we are almost at what, where we were previously, pre-COVID era. And as far as India is concerned, I think in last couple of months, we have seen that definitely the work is picking up and going forward, I think uh, in coming quarters, I can only foresee that it should improve drastically the productivity levels. It may not be exactly at 100% as of now, but we, going forward, we see it will improve unless there are some, you know, COVID related issues which can impact or there are some lockdowns in some particular states again coming up. Other than that, we don't foresee any, you know, issues going forward that all coming quarters will be better than what we did in the first quarter. Right. Uh, so what are the margin expectations for the rest of this year? Can we expect margins to remain to, uh, at a similar level in the remaining part of the year? See, if you even look at our first quarter, there are two major things. One, our TCO has improved with this last year. I think the overall operations level was less, which has resulted in a you know, more optimized TCO. And we going forward, we are quite hopeful that we'll be able to optimize this TCO. And with top lines, you know, definitely improving in coming quarters, this TCO should help us, you know, improve our margins. Also, we have been able to generate free cash flow and reduce our debt. And if you see the first quarter, definitely our financing cost has reduced. So with revenues at, uh, going up in the coming quarters, definitely we expect our margins to improve in this particular year, in the net balance three quarters. Mr. Chopra, afternoon. What is the current level at which your activities are operational, both for ONM and EPC projects, and how uh, far are you from the pre-COVID levels? See, as far as ONM is concerned, I think even during COVID, we were at hundred percent, as I told you. So I don't foresee there will be any dip in you know as far as ONM is concerned. These are essential utilities, and with water and sanitation taking a priority because of COVID scenario. We don't foresee any impact on ONM and given our strong order backlog, we believe in this particular year, our ONM contribution to the total revenue will improve substantially. As far as EPC is concerned, as I told you in our overseas market, we are almost where we were in the pre-COVID era. And I believe as far as India is concerned, maybe in the next couple of months, we should be closer to where we were in the pre-COVID phase with all our migrant labors and you know everything getting back to the work. 
with the starting of trains now in India. I believe that we will be norm almost at uh, where we were earlier. Okay, fair enough. And your order inflows as well, they've been a little bit weak on the on the back of lack of award and expected orders. Are things now coming back to normalcy and how are you seeing your overall order book? Are you getting new inquiries for orders as well? Going forward, uh, overall we see there has been a delay as far as, you know, upcoming tenders, even which were planned. Definitely COVID had an impact. But I feel that in come, it will not be at a normal level what we would have ideally expected in this particular year, the number of tenders which come up. In municipal sector, we see that maybe you know in the second half, the traction should happen as far as new tenders are concerned. And we are definitely seeing in some of the major industries, now you know they are already you know, in the process of implementing their you know, CapEx plans. But I would not say that it will not have an impact. I think for this particular year, definitely, we see that there is a stress on the budgets as far as utilities is, are concerned. The state governments, their revenues are down. And but the only hope is that the central government has, you know, come on record to say that they will continue to spend in this sector, being a priority sector now. So there will not be any cut. But definitely there is a delay as far as the you know, spend in the sector is concerned in the first half. So the ONM order promotion in the overall order book has grown from uh, FY19. Do you think ONM orders would continue to gain in the near term? Uh, definitely, as far as ONM is concerned, it has been our intention. I think we have gone on record even in the past that ideally we would like to have 25% of the revenue coming from ONM. Now, in the first quarter, you see, you know, the ONM revenue is definitely at around 23%, come, uh, with, with, you know, EPC contributing 77%. But for the year, even looking at our order backlog, we feel that it will be somewhere around close to 15, 16% for the entire year. But there is a paradigm shift as far as ONM is concerned, in, as far as Indian market is concerned. In Indian market, now you see that one city, one operator concept has caught up. Babag has been successful in getting a couple of contracts in two cities, Agra and Ghaziabad. So with these particular contracts, the nature of these contracts where everything is bundled and tendered at one go, which is a win-win situation both for the utility as well as for Babag. It helps, you know, the utility optimize the time of implementation and also the cost of implementation. And at the same time, it improves the accountability and serviceability of the infrastructure to the citizens. So this is something with one particular contract, our ONM revenues in India are likely to double. So going forward, we see that some more cities are exploring the same option. They have kept a close watch on the initial contracts which have been implemented successfully. So we improve, feel that it will improve. And definitely ONM is not a top line business for us. As far as ONM is concerned, we find that it's like an annuity business. So there's a predictability every month, what I'm going to build, what I'm going to earn. And margins by all means are far better as far as EPC is concerned. So I think more than the revenue, I think it will impact our you know, bottom lines going forward positively. Given that most of your orders are municipal orders and with the current receivable situation, how do you plan to fund uh, or you know, how do you expect them to fund these new orders? In most of our EPC orders, if you see one of the criteria which we you know take is you know the cash flow. So we don't feel that you know going forward we will have any challenge as far as new orders are concerned. Even in our current order book, if you see more than 95% of our orders, they are backed by you know either multilateral funding or sovereign funding. So all, most of our orders, the payment system is already secure. So we do not expect much of investment happening or receivables, you know, going forward, you know, that it should not uh, bloat. We only expect that receivables should come down. So I think it will definitely aid our working capital and our endeavor will be to, you know, bring down the working capital further. And the other criteria which for a, a new orders we are taking is the technology. If you would have seen in recent past, we secured a 48 million 
USD order in Saudi Arabia for Jeddah airport. So it is a high technology, first time technology in that particular region called Merida, which has definitely a much more efficiency. At the same time, it reduces the overall footprint of the plant. So these are some of the steps we have taken forward, which will not only aid our you know, uh, technology, for, uh, also it will help our cash flows. Let you go on that note. Thanks very much for telling us a little bit more about those order wins and how you see a progress for the company as well. That's via Tech Wabag for you.